All right. So the big change, or I should say one of the big changes uh, to the 11 a.m. advisory are those tropical storm watches uh, for Broward and Dade. If you can remember, it only included the Everglades inland uh, parts of the county, right? Well, now it covers all of our county, both in Dade and Broward, extended over the waters in the Atlantic and down through the upper keys as well. That's a tropical storm watch. It means that tropical storm force winds are possible, uh, but the middle keys and the lower keys are under blue, even southwest coast of Florida as well. Um, that includes mainland Monroe. That is a tropical storm warning. These are the areas that will get tropical storm conditions, and that includes those tropical storm force winds. In the red, those are hurricane warnings. Dry Tortuga is under that. That's in effect also from Naples, northward uh, along the central west coast of Florida. So there's that closer look. So yes, now we're under that tropical storm watch. There's a reason for this, and I'm going to explain it. Let's talk about the stats, though. We just got in an hourly update. Uh, this will update the location or any changes to the stats, right? So we're going to see these hourly updates now as we move forward. It's still the Category 3 hurricane. The winds are still the same since 11 a.m. at 115 miles per hour. But right now, you can see the center, the eye, is over the waters of the southeastern Gulf of Mexico, where the sea surface temperatures, of course, are really warm. We're talking about at least 90 degrees at the surface, and so that's going to fuel Ian to become that Category 4 hurricane as early as tonight, if not by tomorrow morning, still potentially offshore. But throughout tonight, it is going to make also its closest approach to the lower keys. So in uh, progressively throughout today and tonight, we're going to see those conditions worsen for the lower keys, especially and of course for the west coast of Florida, because by tomorrow throughout the afternoon, it gets closer and closer to hitting land along the coast. Uh, the cone itself has nudged a little more south and east. Now, as far as Ian, it's still going to be a major hurricane once it makes landfalls a category three potentially. So this is a very strong, powerful system. And then as it moves over central Florida, it eventually will downgrade. Now, Ian is expected to slow down uh, Wednesday night through Thursday, and this is going to dump a lot of rain because it's hitting a stationary front. Here's the Euro and the GFS. They are in agreement almost, and there's that stall happening right there. Little nudge to the south and east. That's why we're going to feel more impact.